the hell? Magnetic levitation. Guys, I absolutely love magnetically levitating toys. I've got a few of them. We actually did a review on this product maybe eight months ago. But I recently rewatched it and I didn't like the way I did it, so I ended up deleting it. So I probably will do an unboxing of this at some point and I will talk all about this quickly. Look at this, look, 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 look. Off, on, off, on. Using induction, all right? Now we also did it, we also did a review on this thing as well. And uh, you know, these things are really, really cool, right? You, you can just have so much fun with them. But at the end of the day, they are pretty much just a toy. Nice reference there. But what about sleeping on a toy? Let's talk about this. So magnets, right? North Pole to South Pole. But what happens when you mix a very powerful magnet, like a neodymium magnet, a big one at that, many big ones at that. What happens when you mix one of them with a lot of money with the bed? Do we know where we're going with this? Maybe the title of this video actually gave it away. Damn it, maybe I've already said it in the title. I probably already have, right? How about your own freaking floating bed? Wow. This thing exists and it's existed for a long time. You just don't want to be wearing piercings on this thing. Because you may get stuck to it forever. That's the thing with this floating bed, right? It is... Well, it's basically a permanent magnet, like this. Where are we? That's money. As if I had to tell you that, right? It's a permanent magnet. So the stronger this magnet is, well, the more force it has, you know, pushing and pulling on something, right? Let's hope you don't get your piercings stuck to the situation. That's the world's most pierced woman, I believe, by the way. Now we're gonna, you know, as you said, as I said, I love these magnetic toys, right? These levitation toys. So we're going to talk a little bit about this as well as this bed from this website. Now this, this is, a, is, a, is kind of a new article from 2020 to 2019, but originally there are so many articles on this technology from 2006. This text been around for a little while now, the floating bed situation. So yeah, talking about the bed, and then we're gonna show you some interesting floating magnetic toys from uh, a couple of websites. If that sounds fun, guys, what are you doing with yourself? We're having fun here every single day. I'm trying not to get the steel too close to the thing, right? That could be a problem, especially for this woman. I'm just saying, that's the last time I'm showing you her, I promise. Is it? Yes, definitely, the last time I'm showing you this. So, what exactly is this guy's name? I'm just going to quickly read this to myself so I know exactly what his name is. Jan Jabe. Jan Jabe. Look at this. So Dutch architect Jan Jabe has created a floating bed that would... Where's my teleprompter? There we go. That would allow you to sleep in a bed that is floating in midair. And essentially, we spend, what, one third of our lives in bed? How cool would it be to be flying in the air for one third of your life? Just no piercings. Shall I show you that woman? No, no, I won't show you that woman. Should I? Nah, nah, that's, that's torture. That's torture. Estimated to make you poorer if you were to buy this thing for 146,000 American dollars. But hang on, that is just for the scale model. He never actually mentioned about the actual scale, but I bet it would be about one one hundredth, this website says. Now the actual model would cost you about 1 million. 500,000 American dollars. That's a lot of money to fly in your sleep. Now, why would I want a floating bed? And would it sort out, sort of float away kind of thing? Well, the answer is yes, it would absolutely float away if it wasn't for the wires. We'll quickly talk about that in a second. And the ultimate question is, is it powered by normal electricity? What happens if there's a sudden blackout during the night? Yeah, we got the name deathbed. Uh, nice concept, but I would prefer a magnetic stairs hidden away when I don't need it and somehow the flight elevate according. We don't need to read that. Don't worry about that. Now look, this is the scale model. Now look, as far as the information I can find, I, I'm not 100% sure. I've not done much research on this. But I don't think that he's built any of these. I haven't seen them at least. 
I am not too sure because this came out in 2016, 20, 2006, a long time ago, right? So this is the scale model and it's using wires to hold it in place because if, if it wasn't for these wires, I mean, this, this magnet would just go from one side to the other or to left or right. I mean, it would do it once and then fall on the floor, right? Uh, that's how permanent magnets work, right? You can't steady them. There's nothing, there's no way to steady a permanent magnet unless you use some sort of, oh, I'm not even gonna talk about that today, but there's, there's a technique to do it, right? Should I? Let's quickly show you. Magnetic toy, hang on. Let's have a quick look. How the hell did I spell toy wrong? My fingers are really, really fat, apparently. This thing right here? Where is it? Hang on. Magnetic spinning toy. So these things, right? We've all seen these things. I've had these things over the years. They kind of spin on your desk, right? Yeah? We've seen them before, right? So you can steady a permanent magnet that way. I don't know the science behind it, but I've, I've had a few of these over the years, right? That's a kind of a cool toy to have, but that's really the only way that I'm aware of to steady something. Like that's, that's an electro, electromagnet, right? That's an awesome toy, by the way. I really want that one. But the, you know, this is basically held up by wires. So no matter where you live, all architecture is uh, dictated by gravity, he says. I wondered whether you could make an object, a building, or a piece of furniture where this is not the case, he says. Where another power actually dictates the image. What does that mean? I don't know. There's a video on YouTube, and this is it here, if you guys want to watch it. But I must warn you, before you watch this video, for the first two and a half minutes of it, you'll be bored out of your mind because there's absolutely no sound. It just consists of photos of words. Nothing but photos of words. Anyway, go check it out if you want, right? But it's an interesting concept. And there are some more photos of this bed, which I'm, like I said, I'm not 100% sure it was actually ever built. I mean, there could be, there could be a handful, a, hand, a handful or, or two handfuls of you know, billionaires or millionaires in, 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 in New York City that bought this, that, that are having, you know, watching YouTube videos on their bed while they float, watching, watching me talk about this bed that apparently doesn't exist, but they're actually sleeping on it, right? I mean, it could exist. This does. This does. But I can't find any scale models, any, anything on the line regarding it, right? Well, there we go. We did it. Now, hello there. Now, uh, okay, so here's some more photos of it, right? How awesome is that? But there are, on this website, which we'll quickly go to the very top again, that's the website right here we're talking about now, there is a lot more information on hover toys. Now, I've got one of these, but it's blue, but I don't know where it is, it's in, it's in a cupboard somewhere, right? So real life levitating lamps hover over tables, floors, and more, you know, using induction, just like this. It's powering this device wirelessly. By the way, guys, do your thing. All right, every single day, just no junk mail. No one likes junk mail. <laughs> this is the really cool, oh, when I was a kid, junk mail was kind of the, the fun thing to look at because they'd send me like, you know, magazines like Big W, Target, Kmart, the essentials, like kind of like Walmart in America, right? And I'd, I'd always click to the toy section and see all the toys and circle what I wanted. Those were the days. Life was simpler. Now junk mail is just shit. All right. But anyway, I'm going off track for a second. So I've got one of these and I will definitely do a review sometime uh, using induction to power the thing wirelessly. No batteries needed, just like this. No batteries at all. Never, never, never needs a charge, ever. All right? So that's awesome. That's a really cool thing. Now, there are many different websites and companies that make this thing. That's not just one company, right? There's heaps of knockoffs in China that make these things, but they, they work perfectly just like the original. So there's, you know, nothing to really worry about. But just zooming down a little, right? I might zoom out a little and then, you know, scroll down a bit more. Uh, there's also this thing, right? So you can actually, you know, uh, shop fronts. 
you know, any of those big windows outside of a shop where they kind of put really cool attractive things out the front to get you thinking, wow, that's really, really cool. I want one of them. Shop fronts have these kind of things where they put objects on it and they float and spin around like this, just constantly spins, right? People that walk past are like, wow, what the hell is that? And then you buy something, right? That's how it works, consumerism, right? Uh, so there's that lamp. So this, this is another thing. The future is back, real life, high tech, hoverboard design. Marty McFly, eat your heart out. Wow, that's cool. Now there was a, oh, that, that's actually a video I could make sometime. There was this video that came out a couple of years ago, probably four years ago now, actually five years ago. Tony Hawk was even involved where he was riding on a wireless, wireless? He was riding on a hoverboard. Tony Hawk, right? And um, gosh, it, it kind of exists and it kind of doesn't. It doesn't float anywhere, right? It only floats on a piece of metal. But the thing exists, right? So they sell that thing anyway. That's pretty much just a toy. Pretty cool if you've got the money right. So apparently in Egypt, the top of the top of the pyramid is missing. So someone has invented a floating pyramid top. Look at this thing. That's a gif, right? Look at that. That is sick. If someone wants to buy me that, let me know. Wow. I'm just going to say right now, that's actually really, really cool. I want one of them. That's too good to be true, right? That looks really, really good. Now, that's the thing that we obviously have right here. But mine looks a hell of a lot better. Especially when I put my face here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm being stupidly cocky again. Let's go down. This is a real thing. Floating on air, magnetic bonsai tree hovers above base. Wow. We live in the future, don't we? That's... That's really cool. And these things, they really float. I mean, there is no strings attached. These things are using electromagnets, that electro electromagnetics that, you know, constantly, look at this. See how I, how I shake the table a little? Like constantly, oh, there we go. You see, if you shake the table too much, right, it stuffs it up, right? But these electromagnets, they correct themselves you know, potentially a thousand times a second right, kind of thing, right? They're always trying to work out where about this thing is and how to position it right back in the center again, right? Awesome. That's really, really cool. And you can actually you know, water this thing, right? So there's a little magnet underneath and it's been covered by fake grass and potentially it's a fake bush. I don't know, but you could put a real bush on there as well, right? How sick is that? That's awesome. I really, really like that. Now they do have, I don't think this website's showing this and I don't really recommend this product. But they do sell magnetically levitating little speakers that like use Bluetooth, right? The sound from those things are honestly pretty terrible. It's more of a f shitty gimmick than, than anything. And some of those, I mean, it looks like this, but there's a little round speaker. Like, I mean, it's kind of like this thing up here. Let me just, Focus on my face so you don't get sick with the screen, okay? Focus on my eyes. There we go. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. Mm, pretty. It looks like this. But instead of a light, it has a speaker on top, right? Well, it may have a light on there as well. I don't know. But I don't suggest getting the one with the Bluetooth speaker because I don't think it uses induction. It has a, it has a rechargeable battery on there. So you have to actually charge this up to get the music coming out of it. I mean, it's cool. It's technically a floating speaker, right? It floats and it spins around, but the speaker is actually powered, not by once again, not induction, but by batteries. You charge, you recharge it with a cord, right? It should be powered like this, induction, but it doesn't. And also the sound, even if it was powered by induction like this, right? Uh, the sounds are shit. So in my opinion, don't buy ones, don't buy those, those wireless uh, floating speakers, the, the, the trash, trash, really, okay? Focus on my beautiful body as I scroll down the web page right now so you guys don't get sick. All right, take a look at this. So back, back to the bonsais. All right, going down a little more. That's what you can get. Now, there's, there's also this, right? Mag uh, magic levitating coffee table uses magnets for mysterious 
mysteriously float. Mysteriously float? Uh, well, there you go. Look at this. So he's putting his hand on there. And the reason they're not all flying apart, I mean, it's basically a Rubik's Cube, right? But a really big Rubik's Cube, you can't, you can't change around like a Rubik's Cube. But the reason they're able to just stay like that is because they've got wires in between holding them together. If it wasn't for the wires, they'd all just go whoosh and fly apart, right? But they're 100% using magnets. And that's a video. If you guys were interested, go check that out, right? So there you go. There's a picture inside of it, right? There's these little, little magnetic, not magnetic, there are little steel wires that hold the thing together. If it wasn't for these, it would never stay in that position. They would just go whoosh everywhere, fly apart really quick, right? But wow, the wires hold them together so perfectly and they are absolutely are f floating in air. It's essentially mag magnet if magnetic levitation. I mean, kind of, yeah. They are flying in the air, so that's awesome. What else they got? There we go. So you can use that as a bookshelf for I don't know, table, coffee table. The heavier the object, I'm, I'm sure these things would buckle and, and sink down as this picture shows, right? The heavier the object, it's gonna go down. So, still pretty cool. I'll zoom out a little. This person's got a fishbowl on there. All right. So there's more magnetically levitating magic lamps, right? I've got this design, but it's blue and it's got, it's got a spiral around it. So when it turns, because it naturally turns like this, right? So when it turns, it's spot, you see the spiral move around. They're really cool things. Really, really cool. That's pretty much the dimensions. But yeah, like I said, heaps of companies make these things now. They've been around for like 12 years now, I'm thinking. These ones, all right? Uh, I'm not even sure what this is, but that's just kind of for science fiction-y. Uh, you know, how it works, magnetic levitating... Maglev train. This is the brand new train in China. They haven't actually got it working yet, but they're currently claiming that this is the fastest maglev train on earth at the moment. Like I said, it's currently not working at the moment. But China already does have a magnetically levitating train and it has ever since 2001, roughly, in Shanghai, between the airport and the city. But there are some really cool technologies, right, that, that people are making. And then look at this thing here. You know, this is, uh, you're going to go, you're going to want to steal this magnetic pillow fort for your kids. See, these things are magnetic and you can basically put them in any way you want and they kind of stay there. How cool is that? So over the years, I've got... That's something completely different. So over the years, you know, I've, I've actually delved with a lot of magnetic toys. You know, and like I said, we did a review on this thing as well. And um, it's a little spinning top. Where are we? This one's a little spinning top. And uh, you see it? There we go. Hang on, I'll zoom out a little. And this thing right here is the base. I have magnets on it to, to keep it on place, but but yeah, you basically put this here. But you need to calibrate it first. You need to calibrate it with these things. You need to put these things underneath like so to get it the exact correct height and dimension. And then you can spin it and it spins around for a while and it actually floats up in the air and actually spins while flying in the up in the air like that. And that's a really cool device, right? No electricity. It's like that toy we showed you before, like the spinning toy, the, the desk toy. Uh, no electricity, but it stays in air. As long as the thing's spinning using centrifugal force, I think that's the right word, then it will quite literally spin up in the air. I mean, yeah, we did a video on that a little while ago, so I may link that in the description below if you guys wanna watch that. But that's just been a quick little discussion. 18 minutes, 19 minutes now and counting. I hope you guys like this video. We're on two different YouTube channels, two and one. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Tallboy Gareth. We're making videos every single day on this channel, having fun every single day, talking about technology, world news, unboxing reviews, and even cooking and eating. God, watch yesterday's video. We ate chicken curry right here. See you tomorrow. Bye.